Hey everyone, it's Sarah Blackwell here, your holistic health coach, and today I want to share with you a recipe that is a great summer recipe. You can use it as a salad dressing or as a vegetable dip, and try it with your kids. See how they like it as well. So you can prepare this and keep it in your fridge for about two or three days if it lasts that long. Let me know how you like it. Comment below this video or let me know on my Facebook page how you like this recipe. So for this recipe, you're going to need two leaves of kale, two celery stalks, actually just half of this lemon, coconut aminos, and some soaked cashews. I actually started soaking these cashews at least 15 minutes before I started to prepare this demonstration for you. It's really important to soak any kind of raw nut before you consume it because of the enzymes that are used in the wild to coat the nut. So minimum amount you want to soak anything is 15 minutes. One hour is ideal, so if you know you're going to be preparing a meal or a dessert or anything like that, you can let those soak. What I'm going to do first is I'm just going to drain um, the cashews. So I've drained the cashews and I'm just using a smaller blender today. I'm just going to add these to the blender now. And I am going to add next a little bit of lemon. So when you cut the lemon, we're only using half of this, so I'm actually going to cut the end of it off and then put it in my lemon squeezer. You'll get more lemon juice when you have both sides of the lemon cut. And we're going to add that to our blender. Okay, so now that we've added that, we can add the celery. And um, celery leaves are great. They have a great, punch, um, very great flavor to them. They add a really nice taste. And I'm going to add the kale. Again, I'm going to take the leaves off of the stalk because my blender is not that high torque. So I'm just going to take those off of, of the center stalk. I'm going to keep these because these are really great juiced. The kale is going to give this dressing a fabulous green color and the cashews make it really nice and creamy. So last I'm going to add a little bit of coconut aminos. About a teaspoon is, um, you know, pretty, is enough. So about a teaspoon of that. And you also have the option of doing a clove of garlic, adding a clove of garlic or half a clove. Whatever you prefer, you don't have to. I know some people have a really hard time in the beginning digesting raw garlic. So you can leave it out or you can add a little bit. I'm gonna add about half of it in this one. Okay, so I'm just gonna put half of this clove in here. This is a pretty big clove, so just add a little bit of that. Add a little wee bit of water to this. The more water that you add to your blender, the, you know, the thinner consistency that your dressing is going to be. So we'll blend it up now. Now that we've blended it and I've added a little bit of water along the way because I wanted it a, um, you know, a thick consistency but not too watery because I want to be able to actually use this as a dip with, uh, with some vegetables, with some peppers and carrots and celery and stuff like that. We can put it in our serving dish. As you can see, it makes quite a bit. I'm just gonna pour it into a serving container here and slice up some peppers with it. And this makes, you know, a great snack or even just 
um, even a lunch. Put this over some kale leaves and massage it in and let it sit for a little bit because this dressing, the longer it sits on the leaves, the more that it, the flavors really come out. So there you have it. I hope you enjoy this and let me know what your thoughts are. If you try this recipe out, comment below and I'd love to hear what you think. See you next time.